A lot of things that tend to happen on the server when I go away for a one week camp. For one thing, my base has been littered, absolutely littered, with all these nop signs, all these nop nop nop, all these little beasts I think, or beings with the with the crystal and the end thing and the on the head thing and all these arms I guess, just all saying nop. And I suppose I better say nop or he dies, or the cat dies. Nop, 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 nop. Anyway, let's get into the episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of Outlanders. And yes, I have returned from camp. I'm feeling really refreshed and ready to get back into the swing of things. And after my base has been littered with all these nop things, I think we're going to have to do something to Char and or Morgan when, when we can think of something, especially. But one thing I have done off camera and before I started recording is I put in a bit of a compass directions thing into my base. So my base is going to go down quite a fair bit. So this is going to be a walkway to go uh, around the base a little bit and be supported from underneath. So that's one thing I'm thinking of doing. I have worked out how I'm going to do some of these side barriers, which is going to happen at some point today, if I can get around to it, as well as I have, if I can find my ender chest, also gone a fair bit of ender mining or ender, bust, ender busting. So we've got ourselves quite a bit of armor, which is somewhat useful. We've got ourselves a fair bit of shulker shells, which we've already turned a couple into shulker boxes for carrying things around. And I don't think we've made any sales in the shop. One, one week and we haven't made a single sale, I think. I'm just gonna head over here, but I'm pretty certain nothing 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 has been sold which is very disappointing you know all this stuff and all the things that people are saying they're going to do and buy from me yeah didn't get sold sell anything quickly go through these barrels because i don't think there's anything in here that got sold and it doesn't appear so which is you know disappointing but we'll see it also appears i think char has built a new shop which hasn't really opened but we'll see what happens to that in the future as well. And we have a turned member to the server, Master Eel, who has currently his camera account going around trying to get himself his, I think it's their, their what do you call it, their gas farm going. So they apparently have got this little big, or well, this big thing going in the one week I've been away. So this looks quite quite a bit of progress. And I do look forward to seeing what Eel is going to do over the next little while. If this is just one week, their base plans should be humongous. But now we should look at our own base. And I've been thinking a little bit as to what I want to do with it. And I'm slowly coming to the, to the idea that I want. So what I'm going to do is have some blackstone towers in each of these compass points. Uh, it's a little curvy bits. I'm try trying to describe it, I suppose. Just a little... T little towers around here kind of like the ones in the end and then they'll curve up kind of like the Sauron tower in Lord of the Rings something similar in the middle I'm going to dig out everything in here every single grass block and go down quite a fair bit and try and do that so I'm probably going to do that mostly off camera or on a stream and hopefully with a few people to help me as well and then have some layers and and make it into a dark tower kind of thing if the aspect I'm trying to go for so that might mean as well transforming some of this land on the four side or the six sides or eight sides into something a little bit more evil like so i've got myself a whole lot of black stone so i think i might get started on the towers and i'll just quickly quickly show you how i'm gonna how the plan is so i'm gonna try and do it i think it's five blocks away so one two three four five it's a square of four, like so, I think. One, two, three, four. I really should set, set that cat down so it doesn't do anything else. And then I go one more block around it each. Yeah, come on, move cat. And let's see, so something like that. That should leave four there. And then, oh, come on. The Manip manipulation of all these things around is not annoying. Then do a four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's so annoying. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and dig this up a fair bit. I think that's the one. I may actually make this one a little bit smaller 
So a four and then just two on each side. So it's a little bit up for debate, but I think the, the six is really what I need. So I'm gonna move this cat out of the way and start building up each of the towers. And I am gonna need to flatten that area a little bit more to make sure that I can actually do what I want to do. So I'm gonna leave it there and come back when I've got the towers a little bit more the way I want it to be. And having a look at this, I'm pretty happy with the way these ones have turned out. The ones obviously on the compass points are looking very good. These ones on the corners or the, the diagonal edges are looking a little bit better than I thought they would turn out. They're turning quite a bit. I think they're a little bit bigger than the ones over here, but overall I think they're doing pretty well. So I'm trying to come up with a design on the top, kind of like a crown sort of thing, and, and I'm getting there. So I'm going to have to turn some of this into blackstone stairs, I think, as well as some other bits and bots to try and get it good. A fair bit of time has passed, and I've got myself the eight or nine towers, actually eight around the base, I suppose you could call it, and one giant one in the middle. So the one in the middle is probably about twice as big, or probably one and a half times as big as these ones. So I've also started a little bit of prototypes with the outer one. So I'm trying to think if I want a if I want the arms of this one going out like so and probably a little bit taller than that. So it kind of looks like a torch or kind of like the eye of Sauron. Uh, what do you call them? Pylons, I suppose. Kind of just going outward. So it's it's supposed to be one of those. Or do I go with the renegade, or not renegade, the little uh, dome there. So that's probably not the best dome in the world. And I probably should just cap off, take off the top one and make it a little bit more arch. So these are just the prototypes. But you can see... I put in some fire in the middle to try and give an aspect of what it's supposed to be look like. So if uh, I might come back in a little while when it's dark to see how it's like, but I'm still trying to decide which one I go for. I'm trying to think this one might be better for all the outer ones and then try and go for this one in the center. But it's still very much a work in progress. So a little bit of thinking there to see which one would be best. From the ground, I think these ones are probably slightly better, although I might need to change the color and the design of the dome itself. From the air, these ones probably look better. So it's a bit of a bit of a decision. Which one do I go for? Which one, which design looks better, both from the air and from the bottom? And honestly, yeah, I, d I really don't know which one's going to be better. So maybe you might ask some other people on the server and see what they think to get an opinion on how the space is going to come together. And looking at this thing at night, this one is definitely by far the poorer design. It just doesn't look as good with the fire a little bit sheltered, I suppose. It, it will cover the fire, and I might need to relight these things if it rains. But I think the, that one doesn't look as good at night, especially with the dome on top. It just covers it a little bit too much. So, ooh, too many mobs. I'm going to have to make sure that I don't sleep so I can show you this other one because this one from the other side actually looks pretty decent. I might actually build it up a little bit more, maybe have some smoke or other things. Now, one more thing I did think of is to kind of have a another Eye of Sauron kind of thing. So made out of magma and maybe some black concrete to go on the middle one or maybe some of these ones as well. So either one big Eye of Sauron on the top one here facing one direction, I'm not quite sure, or many, maybe it's, or maybe, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's a bit of an arc like that, which is holding out little balls of fire, which are made out of magma, which could work as well. So I'm going to try that on another one, probably this one over here and another one over there, and see how it goes. But this thing is starting to come together the way I've got. So the dark tower, the dark base is starting to come together. I've taken a bit of a break and come back to this uh, probably a couple of hours later and I'm starting to think that yeah the fire doesn't really work either on this tower over here or over here nor does the little crown thing I suppose it's definitely something that needs work so I'm probably going to leave it for the time being get rid of all this stuff here but leave it for the time being until I can think of something or get a little bit more advice as to how to do it. However, once I get rid of this little thing, I have been trying to think on how to decorate the towers just a little bit more, make it stand out or be a little bit more, or what's the word? Just a little bit different, I suppose, not just one flat surface. And the crown thing is definitely going to be part of it. But I've also got, I think it's deep slate or deep slate tile walls there. 
let's just get rid of one and see what it is. Deep state tower wall. So if I recess that in the middle there, that should help. Obviously this is a corner one, but we can do something similar over here. So if I just get a couple of tiled walls and insert them as well, that should give you a bit of an impression as to what I'm going for as well. So let's dump all that in. Deep slate tiled walls, there we go. And shoot across. So something like, something like this should help a little bit to just give it a little bit more depth, which is definitely something I'm going to be looking for with this build. So not all one t color, not all one depth, but that should hopefully give it a little bit more structure, I guess. It's just, yeah, still something that's still something that's very much up for debate. Well, I've been mulling this over for a little bit, trying to do some spikes, trying to do some insets, just trying to just trying to figure out what I want to do, do with this, and it's not really working. However, I have asked Master Eel719 or whatever the numbers are, to come across for a little bit and see if he can give us a couple of, of ideas to try and get this going. So I have talked with him a little bit off camera and in t text, but let's get him over and see what he has to say. Hey, Eel. Hello. Hello. I see you've been doing quite a bit over there with your base. Yes, I have in the No Name Crew base. The No Name Crew with what, like six people in it. Yeah, and only three's been, yeah, quite active. Yeah, it like, happens. It happens. Work, active uni, school. Bit, at least, yeah. Anyway, like... you said you had a couple of ideas for me with these towers. Yeah, I was thinking since you were going for this kind of like evil, like, uh, like villain kind of themed towers, you could, like, give us some more spike. I think that was what you were thinking as well. I mean, yes. Uh, hold on. I think I'm missing a few blocks. Don't I just take one. Actually. I mean, sorry. Th sorry. This is the this is the shape of the shape of the tower. Ah, yes. Might be square ones anyway. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah, I was thinking if you added like a spike here, uh, and then one. Oops. Oh, I'm still out of blocks. Okay. Yeah, I've got heaps. I got heaps. Ah, uh, let's All dump right. a couple off. There we go. Thank you. So ideally, ideally, they'd come from this diagonal block. They come from ah okay yeah ideally but not doesn't have to be so, yeah that's fine that's what we can go from there and then two and then one and then two three and then one and then you can add one more on top for a bit of height yep and also some yeah stairs underneath would be great actually well actually but yes mm. so... i'm not sure about i'm actually not sure about those are deep slate tiles aren't they Deep slate wall tiles, yes. Mm. I'm actually not sure if they match with the blackstone, but I mean, far away, they definitely look good. Mm. Especially like, see, if you have in here, it looks like an indent. That looks really good. Mm. But as the spikes underneath, maybe, I'm not sure, probably blackstone walls might be a bit more matching. Mm. Blackstone wall, yeah, see, I'm trying to make it so it's not all the same color. Because if ah, I just I get myself a couple of blackstone walls, mm. uh, where is it? One. The normal blackstone wall, okay. even if I get a couple of the other no other ones. Yeah, you can build just, it here. Um, I'll just duplicate this. It's just all the same color, yep. which isn't quite what I was looking for. I see. Because one of the other ideas I had, which is probably a future bit, is getting red nether brick. Very, very expensive, I know, to decorate uh, some of these bits. Okay. Yeah. But if I just pillar up, so you had, what was it, one, two... Where? Uh, and then the let. Oh no, that's too far out. That's too far. Out. And then the ledge. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then two up was it? Yes, two blocks. And then I suggested something like that. So yep. come down. That doesn't look too bad, I guess. It's still a little bit I thin, I think. Maybe you could even go one block out further, like... Uh... Well, maybe it's just because it's got one, only one there at the moment. Yeah. Maybe because that also confines to a squarish kind of feature, instead of the octagonal feature. That's true. We could take 
Uh, ideally, it's going to be a one block or minimum one block design because of the way I built the other ones. The diamond ones ah. are a slightly different pattern. Yeah, I see. Just a little bit annoying, but that's just the way I've happened happened to build the base. That's okay. That's okay. I think it looks great. Something like that. Yeah. How does that? I think that looks really cool. If if it's all fours and yeah, I think um, that looks really good. Plus, I don't think edges, the spike works either. Actually, though. pretty good peak holes. If you know, if a war is ever to take place, just saying. Just if if a war ever happened to take place, which yeah, if if a war ever happens, yeah, just just saying. We never know what happens, eh? Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at that. I'm not particularly fond of the block that's supporting it, like yeah, the one the one the before rock. the spike itself. We could we could just push it out. Oh no, that wouldn't work. Hey, hold on. Hmm. No, because what I had earlier was just this. It just comes straight out, which I don't think is correct and very good. No, that would be a bit yeah. What if I just did that? Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks good. It looks that's, better. That's, I think we've pretty much got the same thing. Roughly the same thing. It's know. better. Right. Anyway. Yep. Hmm. Something like that. We had the same idea, I think. Just better. It, it, still, it still could be better. It still could be improved on, I think. Hmm. Oh, wait. Do we still need a platform, though? Like a... Four, Maybe. Four, Maybe. Like, I mean, depending on what angle you're looking at, you don't really see the that it's floating. True, because, yeah, if you're just flying around, it looks looks rough, probably the same. So, oh, it's still a lot of lot of work to be done there, I think. Yeah. It may be a little bit too tall. Could lower it down by one block. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. That's getting some shape there. Hmm. A little bit happier with that. I really wish I had more rockets on me. That's alright, I'll give you some. Here, wait, where are you? Oh, Try this. Riptide rip are... for the win. Yeah. It's... <sighs> Something's bugging me about it. It just, just doesn't look quite right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure as soon as I as soon as we figure out what what the correct way is or the way it looks perfect. Mm. Um, thanks for the Maybe. rockets, by the way. Uh, yeah, no. We'll get it. I think with the two and the three, that looks really good. Not sure about the platform, but I think that yeah, the two and yeah. the three looks definitely. That, I mean, the, that the sp I think the spike itself works. It's probably the transition into the spike that's probably the way yes. thing that's bugging me. Yeah, the spike definitely is in the right position, but there must it just it just feels a bit thin now. When well, does it need a thicker spike? Is a question. Instead of having Sorry? a one, instead of having a one block spike, it's a four block spike. Yeah. Or two by mm. two. How about this? How does this look? No, you just give me a second. Yep, no worries. No, definitely not. Um, this one... If I can copy that, that probably could work. Hmm. I mean, it, it's a lot smoother than the than the other ones. Yeah, so it gives a bit more, like, smooth edge, but... So, I think the feeling of this is a bit more solid. Sorry, what was that? It gives a much more like solid feel. Yes. Sure if that was what you're after. I'm gonna if I come even, back a bit. You could even like. Yeah, that that could work. Two, if it's a little one. bit taller, maybe. A little bit taller. Maybe. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Because or I, even if you wanted to thin it out, you could do this. You need another block at the top, I think. One more block on the top. Yeah. 
if I can actually place correctly. That's true. And then, yep. I mean, that's getting there. I think that's I'm thinking when I'm thinking, yeah, what I'm realizing now is I think I need to make these towers a bit taller. Yes, maybe that would be a bit better. Because they're just going but to. That, do... would, that would also mean that your central tower needs to be way taller. Oh, yeah. Probably. I mean, they've still got a whole shulker of blackstone. Oh, then you're fine. Yeah. And I can make it more. So. Yeah. Man, you haven't been grinding in the nether for a long time. <laughs> I've, oh, this is two shulkers. Well, I've got one shulker of blackstone there. All of this is about one shulker of blackstone itself. Wow. So, That's yes. Not we don't do things by halves. <laughs> You've seen my stadium build from season three, I think. Maybe was it two? Yes, I have. So that that's. I, I think I vaguely remember that. Yeah. The prime example of I don't do things by halves. Mm. So I think I we're getting somewhere. Think, yeah. I think so. I might I might just leave this down here for a bit to model on and yeah, go on that from that. Yeah, Oh, here's the black stone. Oh, I think yeah, I have thanks. extra stuff. And after that very nice visit from here, we've got ourselves a sort of nice looking spike. It sort of sort of looks like what I'm trying to go for. So it is pro probably going to need a couple of redesigns, but we've got the general idea of what we want to go for. So I am probably going to need to redesign these entire structures, all eight of them, and the middle one as well, just to make it look a lot better, because I think full blackstone and some deep slate isn't going to be quite good enough. I might need some red or some dark red to just give it that little dark kind of vibe. But we have reached an end of today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.